I survived the night. I'm slow breaking down camp. It's 7.30, headed back to the car. One last view of the pond. I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping I'd see a moose or some beavers or something, or even some loons. 8.3 miles back to the car. So marshy over here. There's so much moose poop. I just can't get over that. I haven't seen one. saw from yesterday sticky feeling two layers of bug spray okay. yes a moose has come through here since yesterday Not as bad as I expected. I made it. It's just tons of it, tons of it going over the hills. And that looks very fresh. Tons of it, tons of it going over the rocks. Hi. Three more behind me. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Hi. Oh, careful. Hello. Hello, how are you? Okay. Good. Have a nice day. You too. Say hi. You too. Little after 11, gone 4.3 miles so far, according to my Fitbit. But this spot here has a nice log and it's right on the water. So I guess this is where I'll stop and have a little break. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sabbath day pond. 3.8 miles to go back to the car. The long pond distance. <sighs> Still more up, not there yet. Almost, almost there, I think. Just a little hump left. There we are. Finally at Moxie Pond. That's the last pond, or first coming from the parking area. It's about quarter to two. And uh, the sun's finally coming out. Okay, getting close to the end. Climbing up Spruce Mountain. Just have to go over this, and the parking lot's on the other side of the mountain. I am beat. 17 miles over two days, and it's humid as hell. Everything's wet and slippery. 
No huge mountains, but a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs. But it showed me how bad a shape I'm in. I did it. Made it back to the car.